So I think you answered my last question, but I'll say it anyway. What was the best piece of advice you got and who gave it to you? <laughs> I think so, so the best piece of advice, hey, I've been waiting uh, for, for, for a good question. I think this is really a good one here. The best piece of advice that I was given um, came from a older gentleman uh, that who was, uh, again, and this was not the person I was just speaking about. That was an employee. This gentleman here is a... Uh, uh, an old time friend, entrepreneur, landlord of mine, mentor. Um, uh, his name was Jerry Stevens and uh, may he rest in peace. This gentleman taught me a lot. And uh, the, the advice that he gave me, and I gotta, I gotta explain this into detail too. The advice that he gave me was to quote unquote, shut the hell up and listen. Okay, he's an older gentleman, very funny older gentleman. If you if you ever met him, and you ever you know uh, had dealings with him, he was like, <laughs> I, he was like an older uh, Kevin Hart because whatever he said, he'd have you cracking up laughing. So he would always tell me and a couple other business associates of mine that were real close to him that slang: "Shut up and listen." Just shut up and listen. And what he meant by that was to pay attention and listen to what someone's saying. I, th this guy was, you know, became a, a, a real good friend and, and almost like a family member. And um, he, it's the best way to, to describe it. He, uh, he owned businesses as well. He owned a, a, a very uh, lucrative and popular bell bonds business out in the next county over from where we're at. Um, he also owned a car lot. Um, he did towing as well. And he, when I had one of my car lots, he was actually my landlord for, he owned the property. He, he was into real estate as well. So he would always, I, I've watched him and witnessed him many times um, do things such as close business deals, closed real estate deals. A um, couple of times he, you know, helped me close deals. Um, I watched him represent people in court as if he was an attorney. And he would always say to someone that, you know, that he wanted to get some knowledge into, shut up and listen. And he, but he would come back with the reason why he would say these things. So, um, you know, he would say, you learn a lot from a person by just listening to them let them speak, let them talk. And you can learn if, you know, within a matter of anywhere from 10 minutes to an hour, if a lot about a person, you know, if they are a BSer, if what they're saying makes sense, uh, if they're possibly lying, if they know what they're talking about, or just learn stuff in general. And, you know, it, it was funny how he would do it because he would, he would just let a person talk and he, and he, he was against interrupting or changing a topic, he would just let someone talk. And he, and he said to me a couple of times, he's like, Ronnie, you'll learn a lot from just letting someone talk. He said, someone sometimes will tell you their whole, their whole life and one conversation of you just allowing them to talk to you. They'll tell you things that they shouldn't tell you. They'll tell you things that, that you shouldn't know. They'll get too personal. And again, he was, he was, he was a very popular bail bondsman in this area. He did a lot of things that other bail bonds would not do. Um, he would take people out with no money um, and trust them. Um, he would do many different things. But again, I, I, you know, I worked with him in his bail bonds business. I would watch him sometimes listen to someone <laughs> tell a story and they would be in his office and, and, you know, like it would be a, a girl wanting to get her boyfriend out and, and he would just let him, let her talk, talk, talk and talk. To the point where after she was done and she walked out that office, he would recite what she said and said, how much you want to bet she's lying? How much you want to bet that this one is not this or that's not that? And everything he would say it would be, you know, true. And he was like, that's why you just listen. You let people talk. Just listen. You, you know, take all that knowledge in. Hear what they're saying. You don't, you know, not to say that, yes, they did lie or they are lying. No, but from hearing everything and just taking it all in, 
it's you know it's a learning process like i said a little while ago knowledge is key so that would be the 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 uh the best uh advice that i was given and i was given a lot of advice from this gentleman a lot of knowledge but one of the most important things i'll never forget that because like i said you know i i watched him close deals for himself he's closed deals for me uh anything regarding business real estate or you know anything else and and he he's proved that fact to me you know shut up and listen even though i talk a lot people tell me i talk a lot that's okay it's been a great interview i've I, I loved all the wisdom you're dropping here man i'm a fan i, I love it <laughs> but but so yeah even though i can't talk a lot i can listen to you know you learn a lot from listening oh yeah that's right you learn from listening not from talking i love it